teachers that we wanted to challenge our students, so we took the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders and um, had them design an egg capsule or container that would survive um, a drop. So we had to make, we had to do, um, we had them put into groups, and they did a competition. Um, between the groups and we were testing them on collaboration as well as their design so we wanted to throw that element in where they had to get along with one another be respectful of each other's ideas and work together as a team so that it's more of a real world situation and once we gave them the um, parameters of the requirement we let them do research and they designed their um, they designed their capsules together and the teachers just stood back and watched and kind of encouraged them. Um, but this was something that they did all on their own. One of the requirements is we wanted it to be recycled material. So things like old cardboard boxes, old containers. So we've seen a lot of peanut butter jars come in. We've seen um, some bubble wrap. Um, we've seen newspaper, um, tape, just... Um, but my favorites are those, when, again, that we can use um, old candy bar um, boxes and all of this trash and see that we can reuse it and it can be used for something useful like this egg drop challenge. Um, we started out with a tissue box and then we put sponge surrounding the um, four walls and then we put saran wrap and bubble wrap and taped it and then we put um, cotton balls on the inside and then we surrounded cotton balls with the egg and then we put a sponge on top with bubble wrap and duct tape and then we just closed it. So when it would land on its um, top part, it would just like bounce and like not hit the egg. Um, the sixth graders did um, Starbase and we did something sort of like this and they, t they told us that if you had too much pressure in the like box or container that you have, it would be, um, it would shake it but it would like also crush the egg because of the pressure. So you want to have it like open but not like the box really huge and then your egg really small and so my teacher also just told us gave us tips like on what we should use like not obviously you shouldn't use like rocks or something like that we're gonna have it be an annual thing for our fourth fifth and sixth graders we think it's a great thing again to incorporate science and math and hopefully get kids excited about those subjects